Today we are at the Thunder Bay Spirit Halloween location to do a 2023 tour. Let's go do this. Alright, so as we walk in here, you get into the doors. It looks like a nice big location. So we're going to enter the doors here. There's the nice times there. Those are good. And you walk right into the doors. And front and center, you've got the Slim Spirit Halloween prop. St standing at like 7 feet tall. He looks amazing. On the side here, you've got poor George. With a brain on the bottom, it looks like. He's doing his flippity flips. Great. We love him. Very cool prop. He's priced for $7.19.99. I mean, two, actually. Here we have Slim. We're going to activate him. Oh, it looks like his mouth is a bit broken. Bag movement good, but it's only like a jittery mouth, which is means it's broken. You come over to the side here. The theme looks actually really good. The store looks amazing. We're going to zoom out there. And over here we have Bubba with a cat on top. That's really cool. <laughs> So you activate him. Oh, nice jump scare. He is a very cool prop. Price for $169.99, I'm pretty sure. You come over to the side here. You've got Straw Man, and I actually really like this display with the plaques on the sides and everything. That is a really cool idea for a display. Straw Man's looking good. Good audio. Good movement. Working great. I think the store actually almost just opened, which is... Um, then you've got, so you got Trump in there with the plaques, nice lights. That is an amazing display. This should be how the small theme is. This should be the small theme. I'm saying it right here. It's crazy. Alright, so we had Trump in there. He looks actually really good. We're going to activate him again there because he's such a cool prop. Price for $379.99. Very cool. Now... I'm not showing my face in here. So, Strongman looks really good. I love him at the spot he is with the plaques behind him and the gargoyles. Then we're going to turn around here. And we actually have spider webs on the lights in this store, which is really cool to see. It's a nice big store, but also jam packed. You've got the killer clown stuff there. You got some cool, like the spider webs on the lights looks amazing. Oh, these are cool. There's boxes on pedestals, which is cool. You've got Eternal Rest there. You've got the Widow. You've got Eternal Rest again. And then you've got an empty one there and another at Eternal Rest. There's some mats. You look here. Some cool costumes there. Nice decorations. Looks really good. And then you look up here and this is the coolest thing i've ever seen inside of spirit there's a little ledge there with stilts darling dolly and howling spirit and there's the archway with a the gargoyle there we're going to click this button here to activate our boy stilts he's going there he's got amazing movement looks really good up there this should be how spirit is very cool um with the archway there this looks amazing darling Do like this should be how spirit is especially with the chimey buttons that is such a cool thing I love this store for that reason. Now, I'm probably going to only go here once, though, because it's so far away from my locations. But we w were fortunate enough to get out there, so it's pretty cool that we were there. So we're, so we're just going to try to click this button again, see if it does anything. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, which is weird. Why would there be a button there? Then you've got Howling Spirit up there. We're going to click this button to activate him. So there's three Try Me buttons, which is really cool to see. Howling Spirit looks good there. they got some spirit walls, some nice tombstones. The lanterns are over there as well. You've even got some lights up there, which is crazy how much detail they put in this store. And this is honestly the coolest spirit location. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below of what you think of the store. So this is, yeah, the Thunder Bay location very cool we're gonna check out some more stuff here looks like we got some sunglasses and some wigs you got some more costumes there looks really good some nice wigs there all right and then we're going to turn over here to this cool section we're going to head down here or not and we're going to 
take a look. That's cool that there's costumes and posts. And we're about to go down Diagon Alley of Costumes to the back theme, which is really cool. There's some nice humor costumes here. Then you go to the back theme. Got some tombstones on the side to your right. Zombie Baby is with the black heart here. Now you're about to see the best moving mouth movement ever. Like, look at that mouth movement! That is the best I've ever seen on a black heart at Spirit. I really like that mouth movement. It's kind of clickety, but best moving mouth. I think that's the coolest black heart scene. Like, look how fluid it is! That's amazing! There's some zombie babies down there. Theme looks good. There's a leather face here and a scary and a scary sitting scarecrow. We're gonna activate him here. Oh, I guess he's not on sensor. Yeah, he's not on sensor here, so. Then you've got Leatherface here with a moving. Oh, there goes a scary sitting scarecrow. Then you activate Leatherface here with a moving chainsaw. Unlike our store. He's really cool. Looks amazing here. This is how she should be in the theme. It's really cool how he's displayed here. Which is, there's even tombstones behind him, more zombie babies. They put zombie babies all over the store. There's a lot of vines in the normal tier, too. So then we're just going to turn to the side here and, oh, Jumping Spider's missing a door, but he's replaced with zombie babies. That's cool. Even more zombie babies. Jumping Spider doesn't seem to be working, but they did add some a lot of detail there. There's a sign there that says 69.99 now only zombie baby by the fog on the fog machines how are people gonna reach those fog machines i have no idea even more zombie babies even more zombie babies that one's trying to climb a wall <laughs> which is <laughs> it's really cool how much detail they put in the store then you come over here there's some skeletons skulls and stuff which that looks cool door knockers lights hangings so this is a medium theme as you can tell very unique one, actually. I haven't seen anyone like this. So it's really cool to see. We're just going to take a look at some of those props there. Tombstones. There's a lot of tombstones in stock. You'd come down Diagon Alley of costumes again. Showing some costumes this time. They look really good. Like the Deluxe Gorilla and a lot of others. So those look really good. You're going to come around the corner here. Oh, there's a baby costume, that's cool. Then you come down here to the wigs and, like, party stuff, which is cool. Not to, not to be mistaken with the store, but, yeah, there's some party stuff, and that looks really cool. And we're about to take a look at the wigs. So now that we're over here at the wigs, this looks really cool. They got a lot in stock. Like, this is a huge wall of wigs. Like, a full wall of them. You got some headbands there and stuff. Then you come over to the Curve of Masks. Which is really cool. I like this curve. There's some hats there. They've got quite a bit. There's some nice masks. Mas masks. They look really cool. Like the pumpkins and nuns and whatever. <laughs> Which, that looks amazing. Now, I also have a game. That and also, so we have the vintage masks there. Those look really good. Like, look at those there. That's amazing. You got those masks there. That's cool. We've got... The humor wall. On the kids section, I think, though. Which is cool. There's some weapons there. This is how the store looks. It looks so good. There's even sky roofs and everything. It's crazy more masks you got two cauldronists with a baby z zombie baby on top the cauldroness looks good she's not my favorite prop but she is quite cool got a lot of movement you've got two leather faces one black heart so they got a nice amount there our store still has the most i've ever seen though so then you're gonna come down this way you got a ghostbusters proton pack Look at that. That boy's enjoying it so much. You turn around the corner here. You come over to this, like, storytelling or whatever section this is. Cool, they got a lot. Like, some potions and stuff. Potion bottles. Really cool. 
with some of the more less spooky stuff. Dog costumes, because if your dog likes ha to wear Halloween costumes or you want to give your dog a Halloween costume for your Halloween season, you've got them there. Some nice blanket stocks. Those look good. There's a more spider webs on lights, which is really cool. More pedestals, you got a stuffed dummy prop on a pedestal. Two young crouchy. Then you've also had the fogging skull pile. We're gonna just come over here to the fogging skull pile. There we go. Looks really good, Mr. Punchy. We're missing a box there. And then you come over. Yeah, there's Mr. Punchy. Then you come over here. Got some carving stuff. You got some Chucky. Then you come over here, and you see the like. This is like the baby slash toddler type costumes. Looks really good. They got a lot of them actually. And then we're just going to come over here. See some bluey stuff. See those are the baby costumes. Look at them, so cute. And you come down this way. We've got some looks to be like earrings and necklaces and wristbands and all that. You got some nice lights for like candles for pumpkins, which is cool. Not real candles. You got even more costumes here. Ghostbuster, little baby Ghostbuster costume, Harry Potter costume, those are so cute. We've got some socks there. There's another view of the store, because I'm just speechless of how cool the store is location. Like, have you seen a spirit like this? I bet you you have not. This is the one of a kind location. I was so lucky to be there for this. So you've got some stuff there, blind bags, Funko Pops to the side, the fake VHSs, spider webs. So they have a lot there. We're gonna head down this way. We're gonna go inside the line, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So now that we're in the line, we can take a look at this stuff. You got some nice mugs. Those are cool. So if you want some mugs, come down here to Thunder Bay in Canada. So you got some junklings there spirit children stuff flaming pumpkin lights then you've got some cups there if you're not such of a mud person and you're younger spirit stuff lanyards cups more mini cups up there then you just turn the corner to the jewelry wow <laughs> then you just come to the cashier desk which this is a nice setup it's a tv behind them what? Then you just come over here, to the side of the store, and that's the tour! I think this was a very cool store. Oh yeah, there's the t-shirts there. We're gonna get out of the store here, cause that was, but that was an amazing store tour. I enjoyed this so much. And we're just gonna take a look here, of Thunder Bay Spirit. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, hit the bell, and we'll see you in another haunt finding video.